kids in this video we will learn what is a pattern and we will learn to recognize patterns around us today is sher khan's mother's birthday sher khan has decided that he will buy a cake and a sari for his mother as a gift from the money saved in his piggy bank sher khan is waiting to cross the road he saw signs of such a zebra crossing on the way sher khan immediately started thinking here are marks on the road after a black band there is a white band then a black band and then a white band okay these strips are making a pattern of sorts yesterday i learned about it in class and today i can see an example of this as well children do you know what patterns are a pattern is a group of numbers or objects in such a way that all objects are related to each other by some rule for example here there is one black band at the zebra crossing and then the other one is a white band and these are repeating to form the colors of the strips in this way this is an example of a pattern in which colors are being repeated according to a rule let's see what other patterns sher khan saw there is this kind of a gate outside the shop from which sher khan went to buy cake sher khan started thinking oh wow how beautiful is this gate how many different shapes are made in it then sher khan looked at the gate more closely and thought what is this there is a pattern in this too children can you tell what pattern sher khan sees in this gate you can stop the video and think about it for a while if we look at the gate carefully we will find that here a triangle is formed first then after that one square is formed and finally a circle shape is formed after the circle the three shapes are repeated once again in the same order in this way a pattern has been made using shapes in this gate sher khan was happy to recognize the pattern on the gate now he went inside the shop to buy a cake for his mother in the shop sher khan saw many beautiful cakes Sher Khan liked this cake very much among them. When Sher Khan looked closely at this cake, he also saw a pattern on the cake. Children, can you recognize this pattern? Here, this pattern is made by rotating the same shape in four different ways and then repeating the group of those four shapes again and again sher khan bought the cake 
and he has now come to buy a sari for his mother the sari shop has beautiful sarees of various designs sher khan liked a sari of this design very much sher khan noticed that this sari also has a unique pattern children can you find this pattern here a pattern having 3 2 and 1 leaves of the same shape is repeating thereby forming a pattern sher khan bought the sari and returned home excitedly on returning home he gave the gifts he bought to his mother sher khan's mother was very happy to see sher khan's gifts children in this video we learned what is a pattern and we learn to recognize patterns around us in the next video we shall learn more about recognizing different patterns by some interesting examples In the last video we learned what is a pattern and we learned to recognize patterns around us In this video we will learn more about recognizing different patterns by some interesting examples Golu and Babban are playing at Golu's house Suddenly Babban's gaze went to Golu's table. Babban immediately called Golu and said, "Look, this is such a beautiful pattern that you have made on your table, Golu." Golu is unable to recognize patterns. Kids, can you recognize the pattern on Golu's table? If you want you can stop the video and find the answer children in order to identify the rule of any pattern you just have to see what is being repeated in that pattern here a group of yellow flowers and blue flowers is formed and then a pattern is being made by repeating this group again and again babban also explained to golu how he could find the rule of this pattern golu became very happy learning about finding patterns He told Babban, "Why not play a game and find more patterns hidden in his house?" Babban and Golu started to find more patterns in Golu's house. Golu looked at the clock hanging on his wall and immediately pointed at the clock to Babban and said, Look Babban this is a kind of pattern in my watch as well can you understand what the pattern of this pattern is children can you also find the rule of pattern made in golu's clock yes here a group of white red and green strips are repeated in order to form a pattern golu and babban also saw a unique pattern on the 
curtain of Golu's house. Can you find the rule of this pattern made on the curtain? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Well done kids! Your answer is absolutely correct. Here, a group has been formed by rotating this one shape in different ways and then by repeating this group of shapes again and again, a unique, beautiful pattern has been made. Golu and Babban were very happy playing a game of finding unique patterns of Golu's house. Kids, you can also play a game of finding unique rules of the pattern with your friends around you. In this video, we learned how to recognize different patterns. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples of completing incomplete patterns. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned how to recognize different patterns. In this video, we will see some interesting examples of completing incomplete patterns. One day, Bola and Bunny got lost in a weird and unique forest. What is so unique in this forest? There are some incomplete patterns in this place. Bola and Bunny saw this board. It is written on the board. As you continue to complete these incomplete patterns, you will see the way out of the forest. At first, Bola and Bunny saw such a pattern on the door of a house. Here, only one door has a pattern. Bola and Bunny together are completing this unfinished pattern. Children, can you also complete this incomplete pattern? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Yes! The petal of the flower on which the diagonal design is made here is seen in the petal next to it in the next flower. Just like you did, Bhola and Bunny completed the pattern of the second door by finding the rule of this pattern. As soon as Bola and Bunny completed the pattern on the door, they magically saw an arrow sign on the way out. Bola and Bunny quickly walked in that direction of that arrow. At some distance, they saw a curtain between two trees. The curtain is divided into two parts. This kind of a pattern is made on one part of the curtain. Bhola and Bunny thought that if they make that pattern on the other side of the curtain and then pull both the curtains closer, 
then they will be able to complete that incomplete pattern as well. Children, can you help Bunny and Bola in completing this pattern? Well done! Your answer is absolutely correct. Here, in the pattern of the curtain, a group of such red, green, blue and yellow arrows is repeated, thereby making the pattern. Bhola and Bunny made this pattern on the other side of the screen with your help and then pull the two curtains closer and completed the pattern. As soon as the pattern was completed, Bunny and Bhola once again saw another arrow sign on their way to the exit. Bunny and Bhola started moving in the direction of that arrow. This time, they saw an earthen pot on the way. Such type of an incomplete pattern is made on the pot. Children, can you complete this pattern? You can find the answer by stopping the video. Well done, children! You have completed this pattern perfectly. Here, this pattern is made by repeating a group of one, two, three and four triangles. This time, as soon as Bunny and Bola completed the pattern of the pot, the exit gate appeared in front of them. Bunny and Bola both rushed out of the jungle excitedly through this exit gate. As soon as they managed to exit the jungle, both of them started dancing happily. In this video, we saw some interesting examples of completing incomplete patterns. In this video, we will learn to recognize growing patterns. Today, Chanda and Appu have come to Barbole Uncle's shop to buy a new shirt for Appu. There are various types of shirts hanging at Uncle's shop. Appu liked this shirt very much among them. He said to Chanda, Look Chanda, what a beautiful pattern is made on this shirt. By repeating a set of white and blue lines over and over again. I like this shirt very much. Chanda then took a shirt and said, Look Apu, this shirt has a very beautiful and unique pattern on it too. I like this shirt too. Apu took that shirt from Chanda and looked at it carefully. But he did not understand how the pattern is being formed on that shirt. He said to Chanda, Chanda, I don't see any repetition of any color or shape on this shirt. Then how can there be any pattern on this shirt? Children, do you see a pattern on this shirt? Let's see what Chanda is telling Appu. Hey Appu, 
it is not necessary that the pattern is made only with some kind of repetition there are also some patterns in which by increasing the size or color by a particular rule they are added to the pattern these patterns are called growing patterns chanda explained to appu children let us see what rule is being used to make growing pattern on this shirt at first there was only one blue vertical line and one yellow vertical line then a blue line and two yellow lines were added to the pattern then a blue line and three yellow lines were added to the pattern so children what rule do you see here exactly every time there is a blue line the number of yellow lines keeps increasing in the pattern chanda also explained to appu the growing pattern on the shirt appu quickly understood he also liked that shirt very much appu bought that shirt and both of them walked towards appu's house appu started feeling hungry on the way appu and chanda thought that they would eat something at babban's new hotel the direction of the hotel is shown by such a board near babban's new hotel appu was excited to see the board he immediately pointed to the board and said look chanda this is another growing pattern children can you find the rule of this growing pattern if you want you can stop the video and find the answer well done your answer is absolutely correct in this growing pattern the number of squares in each line is increasing by 2 as such only two vertical lines were drawn first and the second line has two squares more than the first line now when this group was repeated another vertical line was added to the pattern and it increased by two squares from the second vertical line so what happened when this group was repeated again exactly another vertical line is added to the pattern and this line has two sections more than the line before it appu and chanda went to babban's hotel and they ate there children in this video we learned to recognize growing patterns in the next video we will learn more about growing patterns by some interesting examples in the previous video we learned to recognize growing patterns in this video we will learn more about growing patterns by some interesting examples diwali preparations are going strong in champapur garlands crackers and rangoli stalls are installed all over the place bablu and raju have come to the market to buy things for their respective homes bablu wants to buy a beautiful dress for his sister on diwali raju told bablu bablu 
This dress has very unique pattern. Children, can you follow the growing pattern of the dress Bablu liked? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Here, Bablu liked the unique growing pattern of flowers in the dress. The pattern began with a three petal flower. Then, a four petal flower was added to it. In this way, every time a more petal flower is being added to it. Now, how many petal flowers do we have to add to carry this pattern forward? Exactly! We have to add a flower with six petals. Bablu bought the dress and Raju and Bablu went to the next shop to buy diyas. This time, different types of diyas are available in the market. Raju saw one of those decorations made from diyas and liked it very much. Bablu drew Raju's attention this time and said, Look Raju, this has a unique growing pattern even in the decoration made in your diyas. Children, can you recognize the rule of growing patterns made of Raju's diyas and carry it forward? Well done children, your answer is absolutely correct. Here, every line of diyas has two times the diyas from its earlier line. Thus, how many diyas will be in the next line of this growing pattern? 16 diyas. Raju bought the decoration of the diyas. Now, Raju and Bablu have come to Appu's shop to buy sweets. Such a beautiful rangoli is made in front of Appu's shop. Children, can you carry forward the growing pattern of rangoli at Appu's shop? You have carried forward this growing pattern perfectly. Children, in this video, we learned more about growing patterns by some interesting examples. Children, in this video, we will learn about number patterns. The alien is going to meet Raju and Bablu today with his flying saucer. Raju and Bablu were playing in the park when the alien also reached there. Raju and Bablu are very happy to see the alien. The alien told them that today he will take them to a unique world. But he has one condition. Raju and Bablu will have to solve two of his puzzles. Now Raju and Bablu accepted the condition of the alien. Look, look. Even numbers. Hey, but there are some numbers missing here. Can you find these numbers? This is your first puzzle. The alien told Raju and Bablu. Children, can you help Raju and Bablu in filling the blanks? Raju, do you see any rules in these numbers? Bablu, 
Let's take a closer look at these numbers. Bablu, can you tell what is the difference in the number between 12 and 14? Yes, 2. And what is the difference between 14 and 16? Oh yes, Raju. The answer to this is also 2. Look, Bablu. I got the rule of these numbers. When 2 is added to each digit, the next digit is found. And Bablu, do you know such groups of numbers in which numbers follow a particular rule? We call them number patterns. Hey, wow, Raju. This number pattern is so interesting. So, what do we have to do to get the next number in this number pattern? We have to add 2 to 16. Then, 2 added to 16 is 18. Pablo, now can you tell what will be the next number? Hmm, add 2 to 18 and you get 20. Raju, we have solved the first riddle. Both Raju and Bablu started dancing. Children, do you see one more special thing in these numbers? Here, all the numbers have 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 at the unit position. Do you know that such numbers which have 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 numbers at units place are called even numbers. Raju and Bablu completed this number pattern using the process of addition. Well done! You two have solved it perfectly. Let's see if you can solve my next puzzle. The alien now showed his second puzzle to Raju and Bablu. Raju, this puzzle looks harder than the first puzzle. Yes, Bablu. Let's find a solution together. Children, please also think what is the rule of this number pattern? If you wish, you can stop the video and think of the answer. Well done, children. You have got the right answer. What do we have to do to get the 95 from 97 here? Yes, we have to subtract 2 from 97. And what to do? To get 93 from 95? Exactly. Once again, subtract 2. So, to get the next number, in this number pattern, we need to subtract 2 from the number before it. Here is the rule of this number pattern. The next number in this number pattern will be 2 less than 93. And what will be its next number? 2 less than 91. In this way, our pattern is completed. Children, do you see something special in this pattern? Like the pattern of even numbers? All numbers in this pattern have digits of 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9 in the unit place. Such numbers which have digits of 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9 in the one digit place are called Odd numbers. Raju and Bablu, like you, 
completed this number pattern by using the subtraction process. Amazing! You both have found the solution to this puzzle perfectly. Let me take you on a spacewalk with me in my flying saucer. Raju, Bablu and the alien set out to travel space in the flying saucer. Children, in this video, we learned about the number pattern. In the next video, we will learn about some more unique number patterns. In the previous video, we learned about the number pattern. In this video, we will learn about some more unique number patterns. One day, Appu was fast asleep. In his dream came an angel. The angel said to Appu, I will ask you some questions. If you answer them correctly, I will give you one special gift. Appu became happy. The angel showed such a number pattern to Appu and said, Complete this number pattern. Appu started wondering how he could complete this number pattern. Children, can you help Appu in completing this number pattern? Let us find the rule of this number pattern. What would we do if we had to reach from 30 to 31? Exactly! We will add 1 to 30. And what do we have to do to get 33? from 31? Yes, we have to add 2. And finally, if we have to reach 36 from 33, what will we do? 3 will be added to 33. Children, you can see that the number being added every time is increasing by 1 to get the next number in this number pattern. So, what kind of pattern is this number pattern? Quite rightly, this number pattern is a growing pattern. So, what do we need to do now to pursue this number pattern? We have to add 4 to 36. This gives us what? 40. And what shall we do to get the next number? That's correct. Add 5 to 40. Adding 5 to 40. 45. Oh wow! We filled in the blanks of this increasing number pattern. Appu also filled in the blanks of this growing pattern using the process of addition like us. The angel became happy. She said to Appu, Well done Appu. Your answer is absolutely correct. Now, all you have to do is fill in the blanks of this number pattern and then that gift will be yours. Children, can you help Appu fill in the blanks of this number pattern? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. What do we have to do to get 98 from 100? Yes, 
we have to subtract 2 from it. And what will we do to reach 95 from 98? We will subtract 3 points from 98. Now, what do we have to do to get 91 from 95? Alright, we have to deduct 4 from 95. Children, here you can see that the number being subtracted every time is increasing by 1 to get the next number. So, the next number in this pattern will be 5 lower than 91 or 86. And what shall we do to get the next number? That's correct. Minus 6. That is 80. Appu also used subtraction process like us to fill in the blanks of this number pattern correctly. Children, if you look at the first and second pattern asked by the angel, you will find that the numbers in the first number pattern are increasing and the numbers in the second number pattern are decreasing. And kids, do you know another interesting thing? If you look at these number patterns carefully and see the number patterns learned in the previous video, you will find that the number being added or subtracted in the number pattern of the previous video was always the same. While the numbers we saw in this video are different. The numbers to be added or subtracted each time. The angel said to Appu, Well done Appu. This answer of yours is also right. When you wake up in the morning, you will get your gift at your bedside. Saying this, the angel disappeared from Appu's dream. When Appu awoke from sleep in the morning, he saw that there were some golden coins in a bundle at his bedside. Appu started dancing happily. In this video, we learnt about some more unique number patterns. In the next video, we will learn more about the number pattern by some interesting examples. In the last video, we learnt about some unique number patterns. In this video, we will learn to make number patterns using some more mathematical operations. Today, a unique game is being played in Champapur. Meenu and Bhola have taken part in this game. In the game, both of them have to complete the number pattern. The one who completes the number pattern correctly first will get 10 points. The game's organizer, Babban, showed them both these number patterns. Bola and Meenu were shocked to see that number pattern. Both told Babban, <gasps> There is no pattern in this. Are you joking, Babbanji? There is no pattern in this. Are you joking, Babbanji? Babban laughed and said, <laughs> No, this is a number pattern. Look carefully. Bola and Minu started to complete the number pattern. Children, 
Do you understand the rule of this number pattern? Let us see what is unique in this number pattern. First, we will look at the first two numbers of this number pattern. How do we get 28 from 22? Exactly! By adding 6. And what do we have to do to get 21 from 28? Yes, we have to subtract 7 digits from 28. Have you got any rules so far? No. No problem. Let us look at the next number. What will we do to get 27 from 21? We will add 6 digits to 21. And how do we get 20 from 27? 7 is subtracted from 27. Children, do you now understand the unique rule of this number pattern? Well, you are thinking right. This number pattern is being carried forward by adding 6 once and subtracting 7 the second time. So, what do we have to do to fill this blank space now? That's correct. We have to add 6 to 20. What will it be? 26. And now what do we have to do to fill these other spaces? Yes, we have to subtract 7 out of 26. 7 less than 26? 19. Here we completed this number pattern perfectly by using the process of addition and subtraction. Minu excitedly said, I have found another rule of this number pattern. If you look at the numbers written at odd places of this number pattern, you will find that the numbers written at these places are one less than the numbers coming before them. One is subtracted as the number written in the first place is 22 and the number written in the third place is one less than that, 21. So, what do we have to do to get the number written in the seventh place? Minu asked the audience. That's correct. One has to be subtracted from 20. In this way, the number of the seventh place will be 19. Now, I looked at the numbers written at even number places and found that these numbers are also found to be subtracted by one, like the numbers written at odd number places. Children, can you tell what number will be in the sixth place? Exactly! In sixth place is 26, one less than 27. In this way, Minu won the round by winning 10 points. Children, do you see the difference between the first rule used to solve this number pattern and the number patterns seen in the previous video? Yes, in the number patterns seen in the previous video, we were using only one rule of either addition or subtraction. But in this number pattern, we are using both addition and subtraction processes. Now Babban showed the contestants the second number pattern. 
Babban said, You have to find the rule of this number pattern. Whoever finds it first will get 10 points. Minu tried to use the addition process. In this pattern, no rules can be made using the process of addition because different numbers are being added each time. Bhola tried to use the subtraction process. Here the numbers are in increasing order, so I can't use subtraction here. Bhola and Minu were in deep thought. Children, can you find the rule of this number pattern? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. The first number here is 4 and the next number is 40. If we use the process of multiplication, we will find what we need to do to get the number from 4 to 40. Exactly! We have to multiply 4 by 10. Let us now look at the next number, 400. What do we have to do to get a number from 40 to 400? Yes, 40 has to be multiplied by 10 once again. Oh wow children, we have found the rule of this number pattern. To get the next number here, we are multiplying the number before it by 10. This time, Bhola correctly identified the rule of number pattern and won 10 points. Minu and Bhola have scored equal points. Babban declared both Bhola and Minu the winner of the competition and gave them the winning trophy. Everyone in the audience is clapping. Bhola and Minu are happily dancing. Children, in this video, we learned to make number patterns by using some more mathematical operations. Children, do you remember the number patterns learnt in lesson 2? Come, in this new lesson, let's learn more about number patterns by using addition and subtraction. Today, Raju and Bablu are walking in the park happily once again. Hey, how has it suddenly become dark? What is this? It looks like Jeeves spaceship. Oh, what is this? This time Jeeve has pulled both Raju and Bablu into his spaceship. Ha 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 Last time you escaped from my captivity. Today, I will not let you go. There is just one way to get out of this spaceship. This spaceship has three doors. Each door has a code on it. If you can correctly solve the codes on all the three doors, only then you will be able to go back. <laughs> Jeev said this and disappeared. Raju and Bablu saw a door in front of them on which the code was written. Raju told Bablu that he had solved Jeev's codes before. But these numbers were very large. Bablu told Raju that they should look at the numbers in order. So what should Bablu and Raju do now? To find the difference between the first two numbers, they should subtract 200 from 250. What remains when 200 is subtracted from 250? 50. Then they found the difference between 300 
and 250. And again they got 50. Raju started dancing happily. I got the pattern, I got the pattern. Children, have you also got the pattern of these numbers? Yes, you got it absolutely right. To get the next number, you have to add 50 to every number. Similarly, to get the number after 300, we will have to add 50 to 300. So the next number is 350. Now, to get the next number after 350, we will have to again add 50 to 350. And we get 400. Before we see if Raju's and our answer is correct or not, can you find the answer to another similar pattern? Here, the first number is missing. So now, how do we do this? We will begin from the second number. Can you identify this pattern? Yes, children, you have identified this pattern correctly. Here, to get the next number, we will have to add 25 to previous number. Similarly, to get the first number, 25 has to be subtracted from the second number. Once you understand the pattern, then you can easily write the next number to complete the pattern. Like this, we can complete this pattern. Come, let's see if Raju's and our answer was correct. Raju entered the calculated numbers in the wall and what is this? The door opened. Raju and our answer was absolutely right. Now Raju and Bablu are facing the second wall. What will be Jeev's next code? We will see that in the next video. Do you think that number pattern can be made only by adding numbers? Will the next code of Jeev be made only by adding numbers? Children, in this lesson, we learn to solve number patterns by using addition. We will see some other number patterns in the next video. In the last lesson, we learn to solve number patterns by using addition. In this video, we will see some more interesting number patterns. Come on, let's see what is Jeeves next code. Jeeves next code looks something like this. Bablu became upset seeing this code. He told Raju, that he subtracted the first number from the second number to identify the pattern on the first door. However, he is unable to do the same here. Raju suddenly remembered words said by his uncle and he told Bablu that it is not necessary that every number pattern is made by adding some numbers to the first number. Some number patterns can also be made using subtraction. So, what will Raju do now? Raju first subtracted 484 from 496. Now, how much did he get? He got 12. Now, he subtracted 472 from 484. Then, how much is left? Again, he got 12. Bablu, I got the pattern. In this code, every number is 12 less than its previous number. Raju said to Bablu. Now, what do you think Raju must do to get the next number in the pattern? To get the next number of the code, 12 must be subtracted from 472. So, how much is left? 
This way we got 460. Now what should we do to get the next number? We will have to subtract 12 from 460. And the last number of our code would be 448. Raju fed the discovered numbers into the second door of Jeev. Oh wow! The door opened! Now Raju and Bablu were standing before the last wall. They saw their last code on the wall. What is that code? We will see in the next video. But why don't you find the answer to this code? Children, today we have learned to solve number patterns by using subtraction. In the previous lesson, we learned to solve the number pattern by using subtraction. We will see some more number patterns in this video. Let's see what Jeeves last code is. The last code of Jeev looks something like this. Raju saw the first two numbers of the code and he felt that in this pattern of the code, one is added to get the next number. But Bablu looked at the second and third number of the pattern and he felt that we can get the next number by subtracting 4 from previous number. What do you think? Whose answer is correct? Raju's or Bablu's? Come, let's find the answer to this code with Raju and Bablu. Actually, both Raju's and Bablu's answer is correct. In this code, addition and subtraction both will be used. What do we have to do to go from 715 to 716? We will have to add 1. And what do we have to do to go from 716 to 712? We will have to subtract 4. Absolutely correct. Now let's look at the numbers after this. What do we have to do to get 713 from 712? We need to add 1. And what do we have to do to go from 713 to 709? We will have to subtract 4. Likewise, to get the pattern of this code, we will have to first add 1. And then to get the next number, we will have to subtract 4. And this has to be repeated. So, to get the next number, what should Raju do? To get the next number of the code, we have to add 1 to 709. How much is it? 710. Now, what should we do to get the next number? We will have to subtract 4 from 710. And the last number of our code becomes 706. Raju fed the answer given by us into the door. And look, the last door has also opened. Jeev appreciated Raju and Bablu for their intelligence and gave a pair of glasses to each as a gift. We will see the specialty of the glass given by Jeev in the next lesson. Raju and Bablu are thanking you. Well done children, you have helped them a lot. Raju and Bablu have learned to identify number patterns. Have you learned it too? Solve these number patterns with your friends. In the next lesson, we will learn some more interesting facts about mathematics with Raju and Bablu. Children, today we have seen some more interesting examples of number pattern. In this lesson, we will see some fun patterns of multiplication. Raju and Bablu are roaming in the market. 
Raju asks Appu the price of laddu. Appu told Raju that the price of laddu is 9 rupees per laddu. Raju quickly gave 18 rupees to Appu and took two laddus. Bablu was shocked. How Raju did this multiplication so quickly? Raju replied that he knows the magic of mathematics. Bablu could not understand anything. Bablu told Raju that he too wants to learn the magic of mathematics. Kids, do you also want to learn some math magic? Let us also learn with Bablu. First, Raju is teaching Bablu the easy way to memorize the table of 2 and 8. Raju is first referring to 2's table. He wrote these patterns in a table. 2, 4, 6, 8, 0 in two lines. Now he wrote zero in this way in front of two, four, six and eight in four cells of the first line. And finally wrote a one like this next to the written zero. Now he wrote one in this way next to 2, 4, 6 and 8 out of the second line. And finally, he wrote 2 in this way next to 0. Children, did you see any magic? Yes! And that's a table of 2 right here. Now Raju is telling Bablu that he can easily make a table of 8 using a similar pattern. Raju once again made such a table. Now he filled these patterns in both lines 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. Now in front of the digits written in the first line, Raju wrote 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in this way. Then in front of the digits written in the second line, he wrote 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in this way. And the table of 8 was ready. Bablu excitedly told Raju that this magic math was great fun. Does any other table also show some patterns for easy memorization? Do you also want to see more math magic with Bablu? Raju tells Bablu that he can also tell him an easy pattern to memorize the tables of 3 and 7. Kids, do you know the game of cross and zero? Raju first designed the game of cross and zero in this way. He wrote the numbers from 1 to 9 in this pattern in the framework. Raju wrote 0 in front of the digits in the first line, 1 written next to the second line digit and 2 written next to the digits of the third line. Bablu started dancing happily. Do you know why? Because he could see the table of 3 here. Now Raju made a structure similar to the table of 3 for a table of 7. But this time 
Raju started writing numbers from 1 to 9 from this box. Then, next to the digits written in the first line, he wrote 0, 1, 2. Then, next to the digits in the second line, he wrote 2, 3, 4. And in front of the digits of the third line, he wrote 4, 5, 6. Here we have our table of 7 ready. Bablu was so happy to learn these unique patterns of memorizing tables. And he also bought Raju two more laddus from Appu's shop. Children, in this lesson, we have seen some fun patterns of multiplication. Children, in the previous lesson, we saw how Raju gave Bablu an easy way to memorize the tables with some unique patterns. Would you like to learn some more such patterns? Let's learn. Let us see two unique patterns to memorize the table of 9 easily. To make a multiplication table of 9, first write the numbers in decreasing order from 9 to 0 in this way. Now, write a number like this from 0 to 9 next to these numbers. Isn't that easy? We can easily multiply any multiplication of 9 on our fingers in another way. Suppose we have to do 7 times 9. We have to find the answer of 7 times 9 here. So we will bend our 7th finger in this way. Now, how many fingers are there on the left side of the bent finger? 6. In this way, we will write it in a tens digit place. Now, how many fingers are there on the right side of the bent finger? 3. We will write this in a ones digit place like this. We found our answers. 7 times 9 equals 63. In this easy way, we can quickly find any multiplication that falls in the 9's table. You can also try this method with your friends. Kids, do you want to learn the patterns of memorizing the tables of 5 and 10 easily? Let us first look at the pattern of easy memorization of 5's table. First, we will write the digits from 0 to 6 twice this way. Now, we will write 0, 5, 0, 5, these patterns behind these digits. Did you recognize the pattern? Yes, it is the multiplication table of 5. Isn't it easy? Let us now Learn the easy process of memorizing the table of 10. First, we will write 0 in this way 10 times. Now, next to these zeros, we will write the numbers from 1 to 10 like this. What do you see here, children? Yes! Our 10 table is ready. Children, now you can memorize the tables very quickly using these easy patterns. In this lesson, we learn some more interesting patterns of multiplication.
video we will learn about patterns in alphabets children do you remember how babban found a lamp while roaming in the park one day from that day till today babban must have made at least one round of the park daily even today he has come to the park in search of the lamp and what today babban finally saw the lamp once again babban immediately picked up the lamp and started rubbing it hard the voice of the genie was heard from the lamp i will fulfill your three wishes but this time you have to find the rules of my pattern shown for every wish as soon as you find the rules of the pattern shown by me i will fulfill your wish <laughs> babban began to dance happily as soon as he heard the voice of the genie he shouted dancing and said to the genie I agree I agree quickly show me the first pattern as you wish my lord saying this the genie showed babban such a pattern babban was baffled for a while i have seen patterns made of numbers colors and shapes but in this pattern I can see only the letters. Children, have you seen such a pattern before? Like we make different patterns from numbers, colors, and shapes. Similarly, we can also make patterns by using letters. Such patterns which are made using letters are called patterns in alphabets let us see whether babban was able to recognize the rule of this pattern hmm first i try to find some sort of repetition in it z z y z z y z z y good Here Z Z Y is repeating in these three letter group over and over again. Oh wow, I found the rule of this pattern. Babban told Genie the rule of the first pattern. Your answer is absolutely correct. What is your first wish? There is a lot of water scarcity in the village today. I want another well in the village. Babban told the genie. Suddenly, a well is formed in front of Babban. Babban cannot believe his eyes. Now, the genie showed this second pattern to Babban. This is your second pattern. By finding the rule, you can fulfill your second wish. Babban got excited to find the rule of this pattern. Children, can you find the rule of the pattern made from this letter? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Firstly, the first letter of the alphabet A is written in capital letter. Then, the small letter of the same letter is written. The same rule is then repeated for the next letter B. In this way, this pattern has been made by writing capital letters of every letter and then small letters 
Babban also discovered the rule of pattern made from alphabet pattern like you. Your answer is absolutely correct. What is your next wish? <laughs> I need new shoes so that I can go for a walk every morning and stay healthy. Babban told the genie. Just then, new shoes appeared in front of Babban. This is your last pattern. Find the rule of this pattern and fulfill your third and last wish. <laughs> Saying this, the genie showed Babban this third pattern. Babban was shocked. It looks like a very difficult pattern. Children, can you help Babban in finding the rule of this pattern? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. The first letter of this pattern is L and the second letter is O. The difference between these letters L and O is of two letters. And how many letters difference is there between these letters O and R? Exactly, two letters. Thus, the rule of this pattern is the difference of two letters between each letter and the letter preceding it. Babban found the rule of this pattern with your help. Your answer <laughs> is right. Tell me, what is your third wish? The genie asked Babban. Babban thought for a while and said, I want all the villagers to get one sack of wheat. All the people of the village got a gold sack of wheat as soon as Babban said so. All the villagers became very happy. The lamp disappeared when Babban's third wish was fulfilled. Babban put on his shining new shoes and happily returned to his home. Children, in this video, we learnt about patterns in alphabets. In the next video, we will learn more about patterns in alphabets. In this video, we learned about patterns in alphabets. In this video, we will learn more about patterns in alphabets. Bola is returning home from school. On the way, he saw a bright object. When he looked closer, he found such a pen. Bola brought it home with him. When Bola tried to write from that pen, suddenly, the pen started writing automatically. Bola noticed that the magical pen had written a pattern in such a way. What can be the rule of this pattern? What letter should I write in this blank space? Bola started thinking. Bola then looked at the pattern more closely. Hmm, here two, two letter pairs are made. Let me look at the small letters first. Well, here the small letters are increasing in order. And the capital letters? Let me repeat these two letters. Z, Y, Z, Y repeatedly in capital letters. 
are visible. So, the next two letters in this pattern will have the smaller letter F next to E and the capital letter will be Z followed by Y. Bhola quickly wrote these letters F, Y in the blank space from that magical pen. As Bhola filled in the blank of the pattern, all the letters became toffees. <laughs> Bhola got excited. Now, once again, the magical pen started writing itself. This time, the pen has written such a pattern. Bola was shocked. He could not understand the rule of this pattern. Children, can you help Bola find the rule of this pattern? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. If we look at this pattern closely, we will find that every time the letters are being repeated, the next letter is being added to it. Like the first letter is A. The next time A is repeated, B is added to it. And when E B, both these letters are repeated. Then the next letter C was added to it. So now what will be the letters that come in the blank space? Repeating A B C will add the next letter D to it. In this way, the letters in the blank space will be. A, B, C, D. With your help, Bola also wrote down the letters that came in the blank. This time, when Bola filled the blank correctly, all the letters became golden flowers. Bola could not believe his eyes. <laughs> now, the pen wrote such a pattern. I recognize the rule of this pattern. Having said this, Bola quickly filled in the blanks. Children, can you tell which letters Bola has written in the blank space? Here, the letters are written in sequence. And each time the letters are being added to the pattern, the number of times that letter is being repeated is also increasing by one. For example, the first letter A is written only once, while the second letter B is written twice, and the third letter C once more than B has been written three times. In this way, how many times will the letter D be repeated in the blank space? Exactly, four times. As Bola filled the blank, this time the pen disappeared. And all the letters together became a new pen. When Bola saw that new pen, it was written on it, Knowledge grows by sharing. Bola understood the message written on the pen and immediately went out to tell his friends about the patterns in alphabets. In this video, we learnt about patterns in alphabets. Children, 
Do you remember the patterns you have learnt in the lesson of the dot grid? Can we also create a pattern with numbers? Let's learn about number patterns made with three digit numbers in this lesson. Raju and Bablu are walking in the park. Hey, how did it suddenly became dark? Look, Bablu is being pulled into that flying saucer. Raju is shocked. He is unable to do anything. Oh, 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 oh. Your friend is in my possession. If you want to save your friend, then you have to complete three of the codes given by me. If you cannot complete these codes, then I will take your friend away from the earth forever. The alien from the flying saucer said to Raju, This is my first code. This is a strange code. Raju wrote the code on a paper and ran fast to Big Mouth Duck Uncle in search of the answer. This looks like a number pattern. Number pattern? Uncle, what is this number pattern? A list of numbers that follows a certain order or pattern is called a number pattern. Here's your number pattern. Look at the sequence of numbers here. Can you identify the sequence and tell the next number? To get from 104 to 107, we have to add 3 to 104. Then to get from 107 to 110, we will add 3 to 107. Similarly, we can add 3 to every number and find the next number. To find the next number, we have to add 3 to 113. So if we add 3 to 113, then next number would be 116. This will be the answer to the code. He thanked the uncle and ran to the alien to give the answer and save Bablu. 116. The answer to your code is 116. This is the right answer. To save your friend, now you have to solve the next code. In the next video, we will see what the next code of the alien is. Do you think that number patterns can be created only by adding numbers? Will the next code given by the alien be formed by simply adding numbers? Children, in this video, we have learned about the number patterns made from three digit numbers. In the next video, we will learn more about this. Children, in the previous video, we learned about number patterns made with three digit numbers. In this video, we will understand some more interesting number patterns. Can you complete this pattern? Yes, you are right. To find the next number in the pattern, we need to add 10. Like we will add 10 to 550 to reach 560. Then to find the next number, we add 10 again to 560. Similarly, the next number of this pattern is 570 and by adding 10, it becomes 580. Let's see what is the next code of the alien. The next code given by the alien looks something like this. I cannot add any of these numbers using Batak uncle's trick. I have to go back to uncle again. Raju once again wrote the code on a paper. 
and ran off to Batak uncle. Hey son, it's not always necessary to use addition to find the next number in the pattern. At times, subtraction can also be used for the same. Pattern followed can be found by observing the numbers coming one after the other in the series. Okay, let me explain this to you. Come, let's also find an answer to this code with Raju. Look at this number pattern. Here we need to find the first number. Let us find the pattern from the next two numbers. To go from 416 to 412, we have to take back 4 steps. Means we have to subtract 4. Then to reach from 412 to 408, again we have to minus 4. Similarly, to find the next number of this number pattern, we have to subtract the number by 4. This pattern is ready for this number pattern. Now can you find the number which will result in 416 on subtracting 4 from it? Oh, it is very difficult. Oh no son, if we add 4 to 416, then we will easily find the first number of this pattern. So the answer to our code is add 4 to 416, that is 420. Raju told the answer of the code to the alien and the alien showed his third and last code. Children, today we saw a new type of number pattern. In the next video, we will try our best to save Bablu from the alien using our knowledge in number pattern. Till now we have learned how to recognize number patterns. Let us evaluate our knowledge in this lesson. Can you complete this pattern? Yes, you recognize it correctly. If we need to get 745 from 750, we need to subtract 5 from it. To reach 740 from 745, we need to subtract 5 again. Now if we want to know the next number after 740, so we have to subtract 5 again, which will give us 735. This way, the number to be filled in the blank is 735, which is 5 less than 740. Look carefully. If we subtract 5 from 735, we get 730, which is already given. Children, could you also identify the pattern? Let's see, what is the next code given by the alien? Oh, no! We can see two different number patterns here. This time, the alien showed Raju two number patterns and asked, What is that number? which can be written in the empty spaces of both the numbers. Raju was nervous after seeing two patterns, but he needed to save Bablu under any condition. Let's help Raju. We will first find the number pattern. To get to 902, we have to add 2 to 900. And if we look carefully at the last two numbers, we will find that to go from 906 to 908, we have to add 2. In this way, we can find the next number by adding 2 to each number. To get the next number of the code, we will add 2 to 902. By adding 2 to 902, the next number we get will be 904. Our first pattern is complete. Now we will find the number pattern 
of the second blank. To get from 928 to 920, we have to go 8 steps back, means we have to subtract 8. Now to go from 920 to 912, we have to subtract 8. Similarly, to find the next number of this number pattern, we have to subtract the number 8 from every number. Now the number pattern is ready. And the answer to our code is got by subtracting 8 from 912, that is 904. Our second pattern is also complete. Let's look at both the patterns together to find an answer to the alien's last code. Oh wow! We got the answer! 904! We can see that 904 is the number that is in both the patterns. So the answer to our code is 904. Raju is very happy to get the correct answer. He quickly answered the alien. You have given the correct answers to all the three codes. I am returning your friend to you. The alien said to Raju. Bablu came down from the flying saucer and the flying saucer flew away from there very far. Raju and Bablu happily went home. Children, we hope that this lesson has helped you to understand the number patterns made with three digit numbers. In this video, we will learn about hidden messages. Appu and Babban are playing a game. Appu has hidden an object and Babban has to find that object. Appu has written some letters for Babban. Babban will find clues from those letters to find the object. When Babban opened the first letter, he found something like this written in it. Babban could not understand anything. Babban started thinking, I can't understand clearly what is written using these alphabets. Children, do you understand the clue written in Appu's letter? Come, let's see Appu's first letter carefully. Children, can you see some form of repetition here? Here, the alphabets A, E are being repeated every time. And in every repetition, a new alphabet is getting added after A, E. If we only write the alphabets coming after AE, excluding the alphabets AE, we will find this written. Children, now did you understand the clue written in Appu's letter? Absolutely right! Here the clue is behind the curtain. Children, the way we saw patterns made of shapes, colors and numbers. In the same way, we can hide various interesting messages by using alphabets. Appu's letter also has a hidden message between the alphabets. Babban too, like us, understood the message hidden in between the alphabets written in Appu's letter and immediately found the second letter hidden behind the curtain of his house. This is written in Appu's next letter. Babban got shocked looking at the second letter. He began to think, In the first letter, there were only jumbled alphabets. But in this letter, there are numbers too. 
what hidden message could there be in this letter children can you help babban can you see any hidden message in appu's second letter if we look at appu's second letter carefully we will see that there is a number and an alphabet written every time are you able to find any hidden message in the numbers here the numbers are in decreasing order but there is no hidden message that can be found in it now let us take a look at the alphabets if we write the alphabets separately we will find this written now were you able to find the second hidden message through these alphabets yes the hidden message here is about the cupboard children this too is a hidden message made from alphabets here in this hidden message appu has hidden the alphabets in between the numbers in such a way that there is one alphabet written after every number when babban quickly jumped on top of his cupboard he saw that there was a gift wrapped in a shiny paper there appu had actually hidden a cap as a gift for him there babban was very happy to get his new cap children in this video we learned about hidden messages in the next video we will see some more interesting examples related to this hello children in the previous video we learned about hidden messages in this video we will see some more interesting examples related to this jeev has informed raju and bablu through a letter to gather all the villagers on the playground and that they should not forget to get their unique glasses with them raju and bablu gathered all the villagers in the playground as per jeev's letter now raju put on his glasses and looked in the sky towards jeev's flying saucer raju saw this written in the sky i will show you some hidden messages written in the sky you will be able to see these messages only through your and bablu's glasses you will need to understand the hidden message with the help of the villagers and do as written in the message on successfully completing the task written in the hidden message i will show something unique to the villagers raju read out this message to all the villagers after the message was completed it disappeared and such a hidden message appeared in its place raju wrote the first hidden message on a piece of paper and showed it to the villagers all the villagers got together to solve that hidden message children can you solve this hidden message if you wish to you can stop the video and find the answer let us first find the rule in these alphabets if we look closely 
we will find that the alphabets here are written in reverse order but do you understand any hidden message from these alphabets no let us now write the remaining alphabets separately now do you understand jeeves hidden message absolutely right in this hidden message it is written clear the waste on the ground uncle too like you quickly understood this hidden message and read it to the villagers all the villagers together cleared the garbage scattered on the ground now bablu looked at the sky with his unique glasses he saw this next hidden message there bablu immediately wrote this message on a paper and read it to all the villagers all the villagers once again started solving jeeves hidden message children can you solve this hidden message if you want you can find the answer by stopping the video well done kids your answer is absolutely correct in this hidden message of jeev the alphabets of the words are written in the reverse order jeev's second hidden message is decorate the ground this time bunny solved jeev's hidden message and read it to all the villagers all the villagers decorated the ground with all their heart now raju once again looked at the sky with his glasses and saw this new hidden message the villagers together started solving this hidden message children can you solve jeeves this hidden message well done children your answer is absolutely correct the message is hidden in the form of one one alphabets in between these shapes chanda solved jeeves hidden message by writing all the alphabets together in this way and shouted out the message to all the villagers happy diwali as soon as chanda solved that message a lot of delicious sweets started raining from the sky all the villagers ate the sweets with great pleasure children in this video we saw some more interesting examples of hidden messages